Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central and look at this, we got the Xbox Elite Gears of War 4 controller. So uh, this controller is available now, but very limited stock. It's gonna be hard to find, but GameStop still has a few in the US in case you're interested. Uh, it is $199, which is so expensive. In fact, that's $50 more than a standard Elite controller, which is already twice the price of an Xbox One controller. But hey, if you're a collector and Gears of War fan, you're gonna want this. So, Obviously, you get a special Gears of War uh, case for this. The Elite always comes with its own unique case, but you get the special one here in that nice red. And there it is, of course. It is absolutely gorgeous looking. Now, they did some really cool customizations with this. Of course, you can see the laser etching on the front here, basically to represent the claw mark. So that is neat. It's actually a physical thing, just like the corresponding Xbox One S uh, limited edition console that's out now. Uh, you can make sure you check out our unboxing and review of that too. Coming around though, of course, these all pull off and so you get the, uh, you can replace these with a different D-pad and as you saw, a little Easter egg there, it says Grub Killer. So they did lots of cool little things like that here on this device. In fact, if you look at here at the little D-pad, you move it up, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but we're gonna bring in close. You can see Gears of War 4 basically imprinted on it. So they did some really cool Easter eggs like that on this device. You do have, of course, of course your, um, ability to switch and toggle different configurations and you can of course pull off the d-pads to show off different ones and different styles so they have the rounded dome ones of course you just put on coming around to the back here you do have all those new d paddles which are configurable through the app on the xbox one and they of course come right off in case you don't want them they're all held on by magnets you can see also we had the logo back here as well as the trigger controls so these control the distance of the triggers so that's a shorter one you kind of want that for gears of war they're a nice red accent color and of course nothing too exciting you get batteries on the inside but no real easter eggs there on the inside one thing that's worth pointing out here is all the attention to detail on this controller there's quite a bit as you can see here whether it's the little sketches into the device itself or basically the paddle numbers or the markers here for the triggers you can even see on the paddles themselves they have almost like a bloody fingerprint marking it's really neat and you kind of don't appreciate it until you see it in real life. You even have, of course, this textured back here. And there's just all sorts of little markings on this device that makes it just one of a kind. The limited edition Leak controller, of course, has exceptional build quality. In fact, you can go to Windows Central and watch our original review of the Leak controller to get more in depth on that. Is it worth the 200 bucks? It's hard to say. It is, uh, if you're a big Gears fan, I suggest it is. But there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information and for continuing coverage of Gears of War 4. Take care, everybody.